Van Life vlog number nine starting right now. It is 10 o'clock on a Saturday night and a little bit after actually I'm done walking out of work and for the weekend this is my start of the weekend like I do every Saturday night driving to the coast looking for waves. Hey guys I drove last night till 12.30-ish, a little past 1 o'clock, and now it's 5.18 in the morning. Not much sleep. It's raining. Kind of pushing myself hard, but, um, hey, man, sometimes I just want to play hard. That's what it's all about. So, may end up driving another hour and a half. And uh, going to a new spot, La Push, thinking heavily about it. But I'm going to get up and uh, get moving. I'll show you guys where I parked last night. Right outside Port Angeles. It's raining. But there's bathrooms right here. And that's where I'm going. I just passed a place called Third Beach. Here, the push. We're coming into town and not real sure where to go. So we're going to just drive around and check it out, I guess. This says Second Beach, and it's just friggin' unbelievably packed. So, this is supposed to be First Beach. Oh, this is La Push at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's got a nice smell to it. It's definitely a little way, but man, it's a choppy and windy. Well, we're here. This is called Third Beach. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says we are here. And it's a 1.4 mile hike to Third Beach. Up over here is a 0.7 mile to Second Beach. That far of a walk with a big old board like I got is no bueno. Now, passing a lot of surfers, they're probably going to La Push because I'm coming from there. It was kind of, it was cool. It definitely was uh, cool, but just not for SUP. And if you're an SUP guy, and look at this dude, wow, running with a little uh, trailer. I haven't seen that before, but get it um yeah if you're sup surfer and you go do second beach or third beach man my hat's off to you because that is intense just to walk out there with your board i mean like a almost like a mile portage say if you were uh you know doing something like that but, so I'm heading back to the Straits. Um, it was kind of cool driving over there. I'm a bit tired from from all that driving. Oh, there's quite a bit I got to do because next weekend at this time, actually in about 20 minutes exactly from right now, should be sitting on the airplane. Uh flying over the ocean going to help somebody do some stuff but we'll get into that later <laughs> keep you on suspense uh oh somebody had a little boo boo right here I hope they didn't go in the water that's gnarly you could man it's a kind of a curvy road and this lake is just wild looking but um, 
Anyhow, let's see if I can turn the camera a little bit so you guys can get a better view of what's happening right through here. Yeah, really awesome. Really cool. We're going to try to find some surf, and uh, yeah, thanks for hanging with me. I've yet to experience a full rainy season here, so this is all new to me. And we'll see how all that plays out. But um, yeah, this, this drive through here around Lake. Maybe a slate crescent. Oh, that's a good little drive. So I am literally the only guy here again in the morning. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> so, yeah, there's just nobody here in the parking lot at my secret, secret spot. Let's go check it. Well, it's definitely not windy or choppy. But the surf is really tiny. Like, there's a little point break, see? It's like micro little waves, microwaves. What's up guys? So I went out for a quick little paddleboard and managed to surf the smallest wave possible. The smallest waves ever. They were like four inches. That was fun. But this is my apparatus for changing out of a wetsuit when it's raining. Thanks for uh, hanging with me guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Bloop.